so I was thinking about a song and I was looking for the parallels in the spiritual. In half a mile, take exit 69 toward Greensboro Road. And, uh, <clears throat> the parallel, here's the song. I'm going to give you the, I'm going to I'm gonna just give you some of the words, you know, you already know it. Take exit 69. Crying won't help you and pray you, praying won't do you no good. When the levee breaks. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Greensboro Road. When the levee breaks, crying won't help you. And praying won't do you no good. Now, how would that relate to a biblical truth? Turn that, left onto Greensboro Road. Everything's in the script. Everything's inside the script. How can that song relate to a biblical truth? Crying won't help you, and praying won't do you any good. Well, if you've rejected Jesus, if you have rejected Jesus before the rapture, you can't be saved. The age of grace is when you need to get saved. You need to get saved now. Today is the day of salvation. And he says, when the levee breaks, when the levee Continue breaks... Continue for four miles. The word levee goes back to a formal appearance. The word levee goes, it seems like levitate, right? But it's it, the levy has multiple meanings, just like everything. So a levy is just like a some some ground or some rubbish that was built up to stop the water, right? So when the levy breaks, it's a flood. But the word levy also means formal appearance, formal introduction. In other words, when Jesus comes back. There's going to be a formal appearance. And when he comes back, that's when the levy breaks. That's when all the, uh, the judgment is on the scene, you know. It's going to be your worst nightmare if you're not saved because here's what's going to happen. When the church gets caught up, You've, re you've rejected Jesus, who are you going to run to? Which you're already a part of, but you're going to run to the Antichrist. He's going to lie and say he's going to save you. Just join, up, just join the 666, become a robot, and join the hive. Join the hive mind, and we'll, the, the church is caught up, right? Got a new body, transformed. And the, and the 666 devil system is going to say, join us. We're, we're going to, we're going to uh, live forever and there won't be any judgment, which is a lie from the pit. So the devil's lying from the get-go all the time. The devil can't stop lying. And so you'll believe the strong delusions because you rejected the truth. And at that point, when the levee breaks, when the, when the appearance of Jesus shows up on the scene, the formal appearance, when the levee breaks, crying won't help you and praying won't do you no good because you've, you had, it's over. It's done. Now, those who never heard the gospel, there's people who are going to get saved during the tribulation. But those who've rejected Jesus and they took, they take the mark of the beast, I'm telling you. They think that the devil and his 666 AI machine beast computer, who's, who can, who's able to make war with the beast? So you can either buy nor sell. You already see it happening on a cyclic, a cyclic basis right now. You saw what they did with COVID. You saw what they did with the mask. You saw how they canceled culture. You actually saw a precursor or a precog to what's going to happen in the tribulation. Right now, they can't fulfill it. It's not time because the restrainer is the church. The restrainer is the gospel. The restrainer is the truth. And as long as the church is here, we speak the truth.
that Jesus alone saves. I'm not going to fight with anybody who's really preaching Jesus. I don't care if they're a legal, you know, in a 5013C legalistic system or not. If they preach Jesus, more power to them. But I'm not, I'm not, that don't mean I have to join it, you know. But I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm not mad at them, but they're just blind to what's going on. They're in the cube system. If you yoke up with the government, you're yoking up with Babylon because what is this? This is just Roman Empire. It's just put a different face on. We're still in the Roman Empire. The, the ten toes, the clay and the iron cannot mix. The Roman Empire is trying to turn you into an AI robot, machine man, and that's what you really are in the flesh mind. You already are until you get saved. Then you become a spiritual. In half a mile, turn right onto Vickery Chapel Road North. But the AI flesh mind is the robotic uh, a, uh, spirit of the age. So when you get the spirit mind, you can see past time. Because you realize that what's happening in Revelation is happening now. You know what's going to happen in Revelation. Who can make war with the beast? What is that? Take the next right onto Vickery Chapel Road North. What is that right now? The computer's tracking everything you do. Big brother. Who can make war with that? And what else does it say in Revelation? They will take the mark of the beast and believe strong delusions. What happened during the uh, pandemic? They believed all the Continue doctors. on Vickery Chapel Road North for half a mile. Even though Dr. Fake was lying, speaking contradictions out of his mouth, they believed his lies. Even now. There's people in delusion now. In a quarter mile, slide right onto Guilford College Road. There's people in delusion right now. It don't have to even be during the tribulation. We're not even in the final book of Revelation yet, but it's the precursor, and it's every day is the same. Every day is a repeat. Your flesh mind is delusion. Your spirit mind is truth. And it's happening not only out in front of you, but in you, if you believe the lies. There's no such thing as time. So when you, you know, a lot of theologians debate, well... Uh, Take the next right onto Guilford College Road. They say, is Revelation uh, 2 and 3 the past, present, future? It's now. It's always the now. Jesus is In half a there. mile, use the left two lanes to turn left onto the US 29, US 70 ramp. I'll cut this off in a minute, this distraction here. But I, I have to get out of this city because I got taken to another city. I got to get out of here. Anyway, let me explain it the best I can. You need to listen to what I'm telling you. This will open your mind. Open your mind. <laughs> open your mind. Do you really want to know what's going on? I'm getting ready to tell you. Everything you read in the Bible is happening now. You might say, that's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because the same Use the story. left two lanes to turn left onto the US-29 ramp. The same story of what happened at the cross before the foundation of the world is happening right now. The persecution in Revelation is happening now. You're being persecuted. The persecution that's happening in Revelation happened in Genesis uh, when Cain persecuted Abel and killed Abel. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-85 Business Loop North, US-29 North. It's all happening the same stories repeating the lamb slain before the foundation world. So everything that's happening in Revelation is happening now. Everything that's happening in Genesis is happening now. The snake, the flesh mind, the spirit mind, it's going to be happening. Look, right now, okay, let me say it this way. What you're dealing with now, you already see, you, you can feel sorry. Keep left at the fork. You can feel sorry for the people who do get saved in the tribulation because you know they can neither buy nor sell. And you know how hard it was on you during the COVID thing to keep, keep a job, to find a job that you didn't have to get the, get the, the jab. You know how hard it was for the early church, the born-again church, early church. You know how hard it was for them to survive. You know how hard it was for Abraham. He left the earth, the Chaldees. 
you know how hard it was for Israel when they were fighting all the Gentiles. It's the same game. So what you're dealing with now is going to happen in Revelation, but it's going to be exponential because the church won't be here to withhold withhold the uh, the lies. The church is caught up. Well, what about those people getting saved? Yeah, they're saved. They're part of the body. But the church age has come to an end. It's a whole new ball game. The trip, those seven years of tribulation, the, the first three and a half years is going to be lies. Uh, they're going to say peace, peace. Then In say, half a mile, keep right at the fork to continue on I-85 Business Loop North, US-29 North. Follow signs for Interstate 85 North. I All right, I, I'll cut it off. They're going to say peace, peace, then sudden destruction. So three and a half years, they're going to be believing the lies Oh, it's all peaceful. Do you, under, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you that uh, Bill Gates, Schwab, or whatever his name is, and all these new or, world order people, they know that's the same spirit running them that'll be the same spirit in the tribulation. It's the same spirit that was running them in Genesis. It's the same spirit that was running them when Israel was fighting against the true, the true Israel, not the fake Israel. The true Israel was fighting against the uh, Gentile nations when God had called them out. I'm telling you, every moment of every day is that same story, the flesh versus the spirit, Wally Coyote versus Roadrunner. And so you're experiencing what they're going to experience in Revelation right now, but you're not experiencing it to the nth degree that they're going to experience it. They're going to get their head cut off. Right now, because it's still the church age, there's a resistance here, and it's easy to be it's easy to be um, complacent about that because you know well the rapture hasn't happened, so we know that God the, the church is resisting. We're not, but if but if you don't speak the truth to preach the gospel, it's going to be hard on people. You got to spread the truth. That's why we're here. If it's a woman, she can't be a preacher, but she can still hand out tracts and tell people the truth. There's a lot of women I've talked to online, a lot of saved women, they know the Bible. They know the truth. They're saved. They're saved to the utmost. They're saved to the uttermost, and they know that they are, and I know they are. And so they can speak the truth, because they have the truth. But if you hear what I'm saying, what you're experiencing in your it, in your little 70 years down here, what you're experiencing, they experienced it in Genesis. They experienced it in Joshua. They experienced it in Revelation. I know it hadn't happened yet, but they have already, it's already, it's going to be. What has been shall be, what shall be, has been. What is written, if God wrote it, it will happen. And so my point is, all the troubles and the tribulations and the trials and the the the, the pain that you're going through in the church age, we've already seen it with other saints. <clears throat> the elect Jews. Don't you think that the elect angels are fighting a battle all the time? A third of the angels fighting against the other, the good angels. And so the same battles going on what's that battle it's it's creation trying to usurp god it's the flesh mind trying to usurp the spirit mind it's the flesh mind persecuting the spirit mind it's the energy of man trying to use his devices to survive let me say that again the energy of man trying to use his devices to survive down here his his electric cars, his gas cars, his machines, his washing machines, his dryers, his microwaves, his uh, bombs, his nuclear bombs, his uh, laser beams. They're going to try to use lasers against God. That's what the. That's what the. That's what all this technology is about. They're trying to build a system to fight against God. Why do you think they want to go to Mars? Why would you want to go to Mars where there's no water and air? Because they're trying to escape the judgment of God. That's what's happening. That's they know what's happening. They hate God. 
they hate God. And they hate the judgment of God. And they fight against it. You see that in Hebrews 6. They tasted, but they spit it out. They tasted the good word, and they didn't receive it. So my point is, crying ain't going to help you. And praying ain't going to do you no good. Because when the levee breaks, that formal appearance, when Jesus appears on the scene, it's going to be your worst nightmare if you don't get saved. It's going to be your worst nightmare. It's going to be your worst nightmare. You're going to be plugged into the hive and the demons and the computers and all the hive mind and all the people are going to be in your brain, tied to your brain. You're going to be a, you're going to be a robot. And you're going to think you're going to live forever, but you're living forever in sin. And you're going to hear the cursings of other people and the, the darkness and the evil. And you're going to be just tied into the evil. And you might say, well, how do you know? Because in hell, it's the same thing. The, a devil's hell in Hades, in hell in the lake of fire is no different than the flesh mind's hell right now. They're in hell. When Think about a bunch of, pe bunch of unsaved people hanging out together. They start fighting and shooting each other and arguing and beating each other up. They're in a devil's hell right now because the flesh mind is no different whether it's on earth, whether it's during the tribulation, whether it's in the lake of fire. It's still the flesh mind fighting against each other. Bitterness and anger and revenge and unforgiveness and hate and envy. The flesh mind is hell right now. The flesh mind is hell during the tribulation. The flesh mind is Hades and the lake of fire in the eternal state. This is why they have no peace. There's no peace, saith the Lord, to the wicked. That's Bible. There's no peace, saith the Lord, to the wicked. So they don't have peace now. They don't have peace in Revelation. And they don't, they're not going to have peace when the church is called up. It's going to be hell on earth. There's going to be people that want to escape, but they get their head cut off. Who cuts heads off? Muslims. It's all going to be one world religion. You're going to have to believe what they tell you. And if you fight against the Dr. Fauci, there's going to be a Dr. Fauci, a Dr. Fake in the tribulation. There will be a military Dr. Fake in the tribulation, just like there was during this fake situation. So when you get your head cut off, sinner man, remember, somebody told you. The flesh mind is hell on earth right now. The flesh mind is hell on earth during the tribulation. The flesh mind is hell on earth when you reject Jesus. The flesh mind is going to be hell in the lake of fire. It's happening now, and it's, hap it's happening then, and it was happening in the past. Don't you think, think about what, think about Cain. He killed Abel, right? And so he begged God to help him because he knew he was a vagabond. He's a vagabond on earth because he killed a man who was innocent. And so just the same today. If somebody goes out there and kills somebody, they become a vagabond. But with the technology they get, they find them really fast. The vagabonds, the gypsies, they become vagabonds. Why? Because there's no new story. There's no new story. I was talking to somebody today. Her dad died. I know her. Yeah. Her dad. Her dad. Uh, her cut. Her dad's brother had has cirrhosis of liver, but he's not dead yet. Well, but she because he drank all the time. And so if I go talk to somebody over here at this store and I ask them if they know anybody's got cirrhosis of the liver, and they say, yeah, and I say, why? Because they drank, yeah, because they drank all the time. If I go over to this other city, and I say, somebody, you know somebody's got cirrhosis of the liver, and they say, yeah, why? Because he drank all the time. Why? Because it's a fractal truth, and it's happening everywhere all the time. If somebody's drinking all the time, they're going to get cirrhosis of the liver and probably be dead for long.
crying ain't going to help you. Praying ain't going to do you no good if you reject Jesus during this age of grace because this is the age of grace. Even the Gentiles can be saved during this age of grace. Even the Gentiles can have the Holy Spirit in this age of grace. Even the Gentiles can be enlightened by the truth in this age of grace. Do you understand how important the age of grace is? This is a new thing. This is, this is to make Israel jealous. We have some great Bible teachers. We have some great truth speakers that are Gentiles. But the Gentiles, he says, he says, you are gods because you have the word of God. And it was a little G, you know. You're like gods to the Gentiles because you got the word of God. So now you have the truth as a Gentile. You got the Holy Spirit. You're born again. And you're going to be caught up and raptured. But the people that you know who reject Jesus before the rapture, they're not going to, they're not going to be able to get saved. They can cry. They can pray. But it ain't going to do them no good. When the levee breaks, it's over. When Jesus appears on the scene, the word L-E-V-E-E -E -E is a formal appearance. Look it up. When Jesus appears on the scene, that's when the levee breaks and the church age comes to an end. Church is called up. Three and a half years of lies of peace. Three and a half years of judgment. The angels preaching the gospel. The first three and a half years, you see the two witnesses and 144,000 Jews. And you see that this thing's, the culminations, the culmination is like right around the corner. Anyway, Noah preached 120 years and they didn't listen. Only eight people got saved. So don't be surprised now. If, if we're speaking all this truth and all this grace and all this knowledge and wisdom and from above and God is revealing it that only a few people receive it. Don't be surprised because I think about all the bells and the whistles out there. They're distracted by all the noise and that's the devil's game. That's the devil's game to distract you with junk inside time and you think you think time is is linear? No. No. Time is a cycle. I just showed you. What's happening in Revelation is happening now, but it just is not to the nth degree. They're going to come up with some kind of pandemic, plandemic, some kind of planned damic, pandemic, something that's planned. During the tribulation, and you can't escape it. You're going to have to take their shots. You're going to have to. And they're telling you now what's coming. They were already planning it. They're waiting. on they, They're waiting for Jesus to take the church out because they know once the church is gone, there's no resistance. They're resisted right now. Wally Coyote is resisted. He can never catch Roadrunner. And they know it. The higher-ups know it. The magician priest class know it. They know they can't touch you because you're sealed with the Holy Spirit until the day of redemption. You'll never hear this from a preacher, a 5013C preacher, even though I've studied them. I've studied 40,000 sermons of all of them. All the top preachers, I've listened to all of them. All my life, I've listened to them. But they just don't get it. Everything is the now. Jesus is in control. The church age is the age of grace. But the same truth in the church age is all throughout the Bible. The flesh versus the spirit. The energy of man versus the power of God. 
that is happening even in your own body. When you try to figure it out in your own power, you fail. But you cry out to God, and he makes a way of escape every time. And he lets you, he lets you get to that point to remind you, don't forget about me. It's kind of like when your wife, you're working two jobs to take care of her, and you're up there on the telephone pole, and you're, you're fighting the weather and the elements and the rain and the lightning, and you trying to survive to take care of her and she don't even care. She ain't even thinking about you. She cares more about her dog than she does her husband. What's that about? <laughs> I live that. I know what I'm talking about. And it's the same principle. God wants you to think about Him. Who, who sustains you. The one that sustains you and you care more about Rihanna and Gaga and temporary singers that are going to pass off the stream, humans that are going to pass off the stream that don't that really worship the devil. You know? it's crazy stuff.